Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Teague and this is my friend Savannah. Yes, hello guys. We are going to be test driving this one right here. What do we have Savannah? We have the 2024 RAV4 Hybrid XSE in Calvary Blue. Nice, I love the Calvary Blue color, right? Absolutely, I'm a bit more of a voodoo blue girl but definitely still an amazing color to pick. Little bit of the tail of the tape here as Savannah and I walk around this one. It gets 219 horsepower, that's a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine with electric motor power. It's electronic on demand, all wheel drive. Savannah, what jumps out to you on the front end? Uh, these headlights for sure, they look super sharp. Yeah. And I just love how sleek they look. And below them, you'll also see the, the little accent lights we have here. They're super slim, sleek and modern, but I think they add just that perfect touch. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, people would get confused with this with a RAV4 Prime XSE because they have similar lights as well. And then RAV4 Hybrid XSE kind of followed suit. You'll also see the gloss black accents here. Look at this, Savannah. We got a front camera. So we can see all the way around it. It's got the silver bumper accent. How about the styling overall of a RAV4 Hybrid XSE, Savannah? I absolutely love it. Again, and going off what he said with those gloss black accents, I think it's just the perfect touch to this car. And I like also how certain pine needles will come. This is the pine needle package. So with every purchase, you will get the upgraded pine needle package and it's kind of hidden in here. Look at that. That's great. And that's free. It's included right in the sticker. We'll also see cameras right here on the side, turn signal indicators, the blind spot monitor, Look at the cutout here. Cars that have the cutouts, they help drivers see around that big pillar. Absolutely. Also passengers, see? It's on this side too. Nice, JBL sound system. Good looking interior. It has front parking sensors, rear parking sensors. It's got the auto lock and unlock on the front doors. This one has the upgraded technology package, which also gives the ability to open and close, unlock and lock on the passenger side. And those wheels, that was nice. Up here we've got upgraded crossbars. The panoramic roof is definitely an upgrade. It's also a reasonably priced upgrade. I think the window sticker will show us it's about $500 upgrade. Seems super reasonable because most moon roofs are gonna be well over a thousand. And then we've got two exhaust ports back here. Silver bumper accent to go with the gloss black backup camera here. I think that shows us pretty much all the way around. Next we have the hands-free power lift gate. It's almost like, yep, there we go, like you're kicking a soccer ball. And I personally, this is one of my favorites, it's super easy if you have your hands full and you can close it just as easily with the same kicking motion. Inside first look. What about our cargo space here? We've got a nice cutout area here to put a full bottle of something or whatever you want, maybe some rope, maybe some whatever you need. Dexter can find his next victim there. <laughs> Tonneau cover that hides valuables. I've got some of my change of outfits, like a pop star. If I'm filming a couple cars, maybe we're changing. Upgraded JBL sound system underneath here. Oh, look at that. Spare tire, that's also a place in that square groove there where you can put your tunnel cover under the floorboard. Shut those, shut those, oh, it's not gonna go. But look at this, that's what we can do for opening up our space. It's wide, it's boxy. I feel like it's got very good storage. This is all just one more reason why people choose the RAV4 over other small SUVs. Savannah, it looks like you're a backseat passenger. What can you tell people about what to expect? Yes, so first of all, I am five foot seven, and this is with the seat, I don't believe it's all the way forward, but- mm -hmm. It's middle. Yeah, you have perfect leg room here. I mean, I have room to recline if yep. I needed. In this seat, if you pull that up, you can also go forward and back. Nice. Now, if we slide over, you'll also see we have these soft text and fabric seats with the black and blue, which will be all around. Yeah. And then this is with these seat all the way back. That's actually not bad. No. And we also have pockets on the passenger seat. Okay. And you'll see we have two 
outlets here. Oh, cool. They're the USB, so it's a little bit more modern. Yes. Two air vents like normal. We also have... Oh, yeah. Cup holders. Test out your elbow. Yes, we have plenty of room. <laughs> is it squishy? Oh, it is squishy. Super like comfortable. It. Also, you'll see spots for child safety latches, which are really easy to get to as well. Look at this upgraded panoramic roof, Savannah. I love it. Yeah, it's cool. This one right here, this does not, I know you saw a bug just now. It's a wasp. <laughs> it's a wasp. This one right here does not open. This one does open. I know you're still freaking out about the bug. <laughs> that was funny. We're keeping it in. All right. And look, look, this is the upgraded digital rear view mirror right here. So you can see a clean view. The tailgate's up right now, but it could be down and then we'll get to see everything nice and clear. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the front area there. Savannah, since you're the furthest away, show us what you can see on the door panel. Yes, we have the soft touch panel here. Uh -huh. We also, all the way around, have again the blue accents, which I personally love. We yeah, have, that's a cool look. I wouldn't call it an Easter egg, but we have the RAV4 down here. Yeah, and in case people forget what that, that is, it's a RAV4. Look at the bottle openings, too. That's not bad. Yes. I don't know if I can get in there, They're but I'm going to try. Decently huge. It, I think you could definitely fit. A regular water bottle in there and then you also have your extra storage yeah we have hey look oh. at that there i see you're actually using the storage shelf what yes <laughs> i am charging my phone here uh -huh. but this is the pro max and it fits perfectly in there um oh your hair clips there too super deep nice so passengers actually that's a good idea you can put accessories like your hair clips mm -hmm. for example you can also charge this way with your wireless charging we've got usb connectivity i think there are five usbs in here and then look at this right here. We can go from sport to eco. Which one would you use, Savannah? I would use probably sport or trail. Oh, yeah, the trail mode. Yeah, better traction on the trails. Here's our, can you flip that switch? I want to show people what that looks like when you switch it. Mm -hmm. Sport mode. Eco mode. Store trail mode. No, no. And then once that screen disappears, we'll do the trail mode, and that's going to be... Oh, okay, so it's got a little bit more beige to it, I guess. Is that right? Is that right? Are we seeing it? Yeah, there it is. There's the trail mode right there. Because on other ones, it's more of a rocky one. So I was kind of surprised by that. Some other features we might see, I like having the memory seats. Now we'll see that there are some upgraded packages on here which may or may not add extra features than what are stock. Well, of course they will add features, but you have to determine what you want. The 360 view camera right here right there so it shows overhead the backup all that jazz it's got windshield wiper de-icer rain sensing wipers i like the heated steering wheel you can operate the tailgate from here so there's a lot going on with this here rav two-way lumbar support that is not a power seat for the passenger mm -hmm. right okay that's nice we also have our 10 and a half inch multimedia screen with both wireless apple carplay and Android Auto. Nice, so that way we can just kind of swipe across. <laughs> oh, I think that's what's for lunch, right? Yes. <laughs> Tell people what your order is from Chick-fil-A. Let's get to learn Savannah <laughs> a little bit more. This is funny. I get a lot to eat. I get a large Dr. Pepper, Yes. two large fries, and then an eight or a 12 count nugget. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Leave a comment if you uh, like Chick-fil-A also and what your order might be. All right, so we've got controls right here. Control. I like how these are also kind of chunkier too. So if you have maybe work gloves on or something, they're still super easy to maneuver. Smart. I see heated seats are part of it. Not cooled mm -hmm. seats, but heated seats. Electronic parking brake and brake hold. And then flip that switch right there so we can see the regular view. That's your regular view. And then flip it to digital if you don't mind. Oh, so we can see a clear view. Mm -hmm. I like that. Sunglass, Sunglass holder. holder. Whoop, whoop. Very cool. Let's start our test drive with a stroll through the park, a little spin here. Uh, what stands out to you? Uh, first, we'll start with the seating. I think that I would rate this overall a 8 out of 10. Okay. Um, the soft text is super comfortable, but I think my favorite part is this extra bolstering a little bit. It kind of sticks out and it doesn't hug you like a sports seat would, but 
it definitely gives that extra comfort. Yeah, I agree. And I could see myself riding for 10 minutes like we're going to do now. Mm -hmm. Or I could also see myself in this one for a three to four hour trip. And I don't think no, it would be yeah, a problem at all. Sure. The other thing I noticed is there's a lot of room in this vehicle. It is a small SUV, but it's maybe... Oh, I have plenty of room. Maybe lives a little bit bigger than what you might think. Because you can really stretch your hands out here. And I don't feel trapped. Crammed. No, not at all. I don't feel claustrophobic. All in all, I think it's going to be a really good space for four, maybe five passengers. For sure. Okay, one of the things that RAV4 can do is drive on a country road. So let's do that, Savannah. Yeah. Um, how's the drive so far? Um, well, we're about to see. We're going to pick it up a little bit, I think. Um, but as of right now, I think it's super comfortable. It rides smooth enough. And I've been in enough RAV4s to know that it is a quiet ride, but yes, there is going to be that little bit of wind noise on your rear view mirrors. Um, but it seems pretty grounded. Yeah, that is true. You will hear some noise coming off the side mirrors. You'll hear a little bit of road noise, a little bit of, I guess, uh, wind noise on the highway, engine noise. But once you get to your cruising speed, I don't think it's bad, mm -mm. but you will. I mean, that'd be something that might be an observation of yours. So let's test it. This has multi-link rear suspension. It's supposed to tighten up for more responsive, controlled handling on these curves. And this one's a little bit tighter. I think it feels pretty good. Right, yeah, it kind of zips right through there, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was actually kind of fun. So, not like everybody would drive it all the time where you're just... Flying. Yeah, you're not going to open it up every single time, but if you need to... I think do it. Yeah, I think it would do it just fine. Like I said, 219 horsepower is very respectable. And remember, we're trying to balance that out with something closer to 40 mpg or higher. So it's a good balance, but I mean, people mostly are going to be driving this for the versatility, but also for the great gas mileage. Now, if we're in a chase or a race or something like that, we're going to have to know what the turn circle is like, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see how tight this thing turns. Woo. Oh, that house looks cool. Look at that. I know. Oh, There's that is modern. Ones Would here. you live in a modern house like this? Oh, for sure. Oh yeah, that's cool. It's a nice neighborhood. And now we get to raise the property value by having a RAV4 in the vicinity. RAV4 in the hood. It's our newest movie. Zero to 60. And we're there. That was pretty decent. Now you did hear some engine noise, of course. Yeah. Because this car isn't made to like phew, race at Thunder Road or anything like that. But I think it was just fine, right? Absolutely. Time to get onto the highway. Now compare this to what you're normally driving as a daily driver, Savannah, and then let's test it. Here we go. Yes. Okay. So I drive um, a 2019 Forerunner, and I would say. This, this does have quicker pickup than that, um, just because I have stuff added onto mine and it lags a little. Well, you got a six inch lift on your <laughs> truck too. <laughs> yeah, but I think it picks up in just enough time to still where if you're in traffic or like we are right now in a four lane highway, you can get across, you can get to your exit in time if you need to. So I think it's pretty good. Yeah, actually that's a really good analysis there. And it's always fun to say, what do you drive right now and how is this comparing to that? Because obviously you have uh, muscle and mental memory, muscle memory, of what it's like <laughs> in here. Oh no, my lane is going to end in 700 feet. Look out. Say don't worry. We can it's a disaster. See, in a RAV4, you can change <laughs> lanes within 700 feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's a selling feature right exactly. there. Exactly. Okay, so we're at about 70 miles an hour right now. Uh, traffic won't let us go any faster than that. What do we hear? We hear... A little bit of road noise. We hear a motorcycle, yeah. of course. Shut up! <laughs> it's like, hey man, just trying to get by in the world. But anyway, 
I don't even hear wind noise off the side mirrors really. I do hear the road noise a little bit. But it's not bad. If I turn down the radio or we're just talking, I don't think you're going to say, what? No. no, I don't think I'll be distracting at all. But if you have any experience with it, let us know. And uh, now I'm going to show you some other features that you might notice on our friend Rev. One of the things that you'll notice, this has the crossbars added to it, which is a great addition. But just remember, anytime you have something going crosswise for the aerodynamics, you're going to hear a little bit of wind noise. So I hear that coming off of the crossbars. That's something that if you're going to get crossbars, you're going to want to get crossbars because you're putting gear and bags and stuff like that and coolers up there. So you know you might get a little bit of wind noise. Some things I like, I like the fact that this is a touch screen. It's also voice commands so I can give it commands. It's really easy to use. I uh, like the digital temperature controls because when I ride with Savannah, she likes it really warm. I like it cooled. So that's nice. We can charge either like she had her phone over here or you can just put it on this pad. It's grippy so it doesn't slide around. Now for my off-roading, not my off-roading, but for my safety features, trail over would be an off-road thing, but you can have the adaptive cruise mode and here, just on the steering wheel, I can change the, mo the distance between me and cars in front of me. I can set my speed right here, just like that. Set it, cancel it. Also, I can set up lane keep assist or the adaptive lane centering, which will be right here, lane centering active. So what that means is it's gonna keep you centered in your lane. Even if you were to take your hands off the wheel for just a little bit, like eight to 10 seconds, maybe eight or nine seconds actually, to be specific, uh, it'll take you around a turn and keep you centered. It doesn't just boom, boom, boom as you're going around. It literally keeps you centered. I think the wheel is nice. It's a leather wrapped steering wheel. It's a good size. It's not too small, not too huge, like an 18 wheeler. But overall, I think it's really great. I like the fact that this is a customizable 12.3 inch screen so you can adjust and scroll over like I can just do that right now and maybe show us going around this turn here it's 25 I'll take it about 37 or so very planted it's kind of leaning into the turn I don't feel top heavy I like this turn a lot because it's a pretty wicked one there goes my gear. <laughs> All right, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, tight, responsive handling because of the multi-link suspension. On highways, it's gonna open up and be nice and smooth. It's a good riding vehicle, it really is. And I think a lot of people, I get a lot of comments where people own RAV4s and they really like them. So I think it's definitely something that you would wanna consider if it's right for you and your family. Standard features here, made in Georgetown, Kentucky. Great safety ratings. Here's the fuel mileage listed. I'm getting just under that, like 38 point something. I was all week around 39.9 and then the high 39s, but I've been filming a lot, just kind of burning fuel sitting here. But 41 in the city, I think you could probably get a lot better if you just drive normal and average and conservative. So we've got Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. Normally we have six speaker system right here, but we're going to upgrade to nine speakers, no, 11 speakers in nine locations. So we've got 37.3 in the uh, technology package, weather package, the JBL and the moonroof, the panoramic glass roof, I should say. And you can see the crossbars. Those are, this is a show vehicle, so it'll have certain options on it to show them off for people like me when we review them so I can pass them on to you as suggestions for what you might want. So we went from 37 with these options that you may or may not want and then 43. Well, Savannah, what'd you think? I thought it was great. Leave a comment and let us know what you guys think and if you would get the XSC. Absolutely, would you get the XSE? Maybe a different trim level of RAV4? Maybe there's another small SUV that you have in mind. Leave a comment and maybe we'll film that next. Thanks guys so much. And where can people find me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can find Jeff on Auto Jeff Reviews, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. All right, see you guys see next you guys. time. And remember, if you want to see more Toyota content, click the Toyota playlist, or maybe you can find the brand that you're looking for, click that playlist. Thanks guys so much for being here. Bye.